Hey guys, how's it going? It's again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Hair Foundation. We're going to be touching a topic that I'm really excited about to introduce in the channel and that is how to use human, human segmentation with what we're going to be doing in AR. Why would we use human segmentation, you might ask, and that's basically for body occlusion. I want to show you an example where we're going to be basically detecting our hands and then occluding content that is around the area. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I have right now for the augmented reality people occlusion. And, and to be honest, I, I was thinking about actually releasing this as an app and the second thought I had was to just give it out for free to the community. The, the reason why I want to give it out for free is because I think this is going to help a lot of people in you know, creating experiences and blocking out uh, certain people for you know, different experiences where, where this use case could apply. So Unity doesn't really have a lot of information on, on people occlusion just yet, but they have two different textures that they are providing in their human segmentation example in the AR Essentials examples that they have. So I was always always wondering how I could accomplish something like this. So I have something that I put together with help of the Unity community and, and it's called People Occlusion. There's two components to this. I'm just gonna show you the results of it and then how you need to, what you need to do to make it work and what components you would need. And then, you know, you can just download that code from GitHub and do what you need. I'm also wanna show you the results right now by looking at some of the examples that I have in my own Twitter page. So this one is, this was an example that I that I gave about you know my kid dancing. I told him to dance while I was recording, and I also have a button where I can press, and it'll basically change the texture. And I'm gonna show you that in Unity, so you can see how how precise it is. There's still a lot more work to be done, but it works really well. This one looks a lot better, and in this one I'm doing the same thing. I'm basically you know taking my head off the screen, then showing my hand and then changing the texture. Everything is, is very precise and very powerful, especially when we know that we're doing this with, I'm doing this with an iPhone XS. So that's this example. This other example I wanted to see if I could show basically my, my hand in green and see if I could blend it in. So there's a couple edges and the edges are not perfect, but I'm sure, you know, with some tweakings on the script, we could probably get a better you know, a better experience. In this one, I'm basically right in front of the camera. I try to use my whole body. I'm picking up the frame just to make sure that it doesn't pick up the pixels on the on the frame. That's a frame from one of my games. And you can see how, how accurate it is. It's still it's still not perfect, but it you know I think I think you can see the power of looking at it. This one looks really, really good and it came out to be per like almost perfect. You can see how I'm moving my hand and how fast it is. And my phone is actually no. I was thinking it was going to take a lot of resource. And it probably does, but my phone does really well with it. So you can see that one. And then this one, I'm just using a, a different different example. Just, you know, I, I have a different texture. I'll show you that texture in Unity. And then lastly, this is just another example with a different texture. I'm wearing a watch. So even with the watch, it's actually covering the watch. If I let it process, in time, you can see how the watch goes away, but then at the beginning, it just is trying to analyze the watch and see what it is. So those are some of the examples that I that I've done. And so, if you need to do something like this, and if we want to ship a game or well, not a game, an experience with this, I guess it could be a game as well. Let me show you what you're gonna need, and you can copy these scripts by you know by just cloning my repository, and make sure that you give me a star because that's really gonna help me in you know, in making making sure this repository gets gets up there and a lot of people use it. So you're gonna need a light, you're gonna need an AR session with an AR, AR input manager. You're also gonna need the AR session origin just like you do on every one of my videos and my examples. Also has an AR session origin script with the camera. In this one, just like you, you we did on the face tracking example, you're gonna need an AR human body manager make sure that you don't enable the estimation, the body pose estimation, and also use the segmentation because Xcode, the, the actual framework is going to complain about it. You can do either segmentation 
or you can do body pose, but you can really do both of them at the same time. So these are gonna be all disabled for this example, and then what you're gonna need is human segmentation and stencil, and then you're also gonna need the depth mode because these are two textures that we're gonna be fitting into a shader. And the other thing that I did, I didn't try lowering the resolution on these on the stencil textures that we're getting. I just decided to use full screen and then half screen. If you wanna use half screen, you can. If you wanna use standard resolution, you can. I wanted to make sure that I could get the best resolution possible in my phone works really well. But if you have, you know, an older phone or you want to, you know, you wanted to experiment with a low resolution, make sure that you set those appropriately and then you test. So that's what you're gonna need on that component. The other component that is gonna have most of the functionality is going to be the AR camera. So on the AR camera, we're gonna need a track post driver. This is, you know, very common to most of my examples. You're also gonna need a AR camera manager. I didn't change anything there. If you wanna disable the focus mode to basically doesn't, so it doesn't focus automatically, you can do that. I, I, I should have set it to basically fix because it, at some point in one of my demos, it was trying to focus and it didn't look really well, but you know, you can play with that setting as well. You're also gonna need the AR camera background. And then the other component that are gonna be most of the work, it's gonna be the people occlusion. So on people occlusion, you're going to reference the AR origin. I could refactor this and basically get it, get it in a different way. But for now, these are all exposed in the inspector. You're gonna need the AR origin, like I said, the human body manager, which I show you. You're also gonna need the camera manager, the people occlusion shader, which is you know where most of the work is being done, in addition to what AR kit is doing. So the way that this is working is passing the two textures, the depth texture and also the stencil texture, and then passing that information over to the shader, and then the shader is, is basically reading that texture and then making sure that it looks like one of the examples that I show you. And then I also wanted to cycle through texture, so I added a button. So if you look at this button right here, this is just a reference to that button, and the number zero means that I'm starting at index zero. That means that this is gonna be, these, this is an array here of textures that, I, that I'm applying to, you know, when my hand is showing, and, or the body is showing. So if you wanna increment these, or if you wanna change this texture, feel free to do that. These are just the textures that you saw. So for example, on this one, the future one, and this is the green one. I show you the green one as well. So this texture right here is basically what you're seeing when we go to this example here. And it does need improvements because it's a little bit skewed if we go back in here and look, see how it's actually stretched and skewed. But I think for now it works. It improves the concept that we want it, that I want to portray. So these are some of the textures. Let me go back to that. So like I said, if you just wanna do one texture, just change this to one. If you wanna do more, just change that number. This is just an array and then all the different textures that I have. I also have a cartoon one and I use this one for the face tracking example that I showed you before as well. I have this one that is abstract, but you're more than welcome to play with different textures. Let me go back to that. All right, so this is some of the main components that you need. And if you need to look at the shader, the shader is gonna be inside of the, in, the, in assets and then shaders. And this is a people occlusion shader. And you're more than welcome to look at it and, and you know go study it in detail. And then the people occlusion script is also incorporated in here. I have it on their scripts and then it's called people occlusion. And then you can go through the implementation and you know study it if you want to understand how it works. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'm going to be basically building these and then I think I might ship it as a as an iOS app so that you can also try it. So that's honestly everything that you, you know, everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions about anything that I show you, let me know in the comments and also feel free to, to download the code and use it in your own apps like I was saying. And if you can, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content, a lot more source code is gonna help me in bringing you know, new videos about augmented reality, about you know, either using ARKit or using Magic Leap. I'm also in the process of you know, bringing more content for virtual reality with Oculus. So I'm really excited about what I'm gonna be bringing. So again, if you have questions, let me know and thank you again, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video again. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. 
Also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing and great resources for game developers. Also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes when also when I post information about links to my GitHub repository, that's normally where I do it. So make sure to find me in Patreon.com, but of course it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. So thank you very much, guys.